everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody doing this lovely Saturday morning? Harry and I are doing great. We're getting excited. We're doing all kinds of things today. We've got to go make some payments. We've got to go shopping. We've got to do some last minute run around items today in order to get ready for our trip to Disneyland on Monday that we're leaving for. Anyway, you guys, we are doing the Gobble Down the Right Foods for Weight Loss November Challenge, and today is a 16-hour fast or eight-hour eating window. Eat regular keto foods today. Use your macros and take a walk. I think Harry and I are gonna go out to breakfast today and we'll share what we have Yay. to eat because we are gonna be doing a lot of running around today, last minute stuff. Anyway, you guys, I wanna remind everybody that everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, have a direct effect on your weight. Inflammation, injuries, lack of sleep, stress in your life. If you are very stressful and you're having some major issues going on in your life, you're gonna spike cortisol and that is gonna affect your weight. And if you guys are going through a stressful time, if you're having, uh, if you have an injury that you're dealing with and weighing every day bothers you, wait and weigh in on Friday. Pick a day, one day, Friday, one day a week, and then eat your regular keto macros, follow your normal regime that you have, and then relax about the scale because if it goes up, just know it is water weight. That's what it is. Anyway, Harry and I were perfectly keto yesterday. Um, where's the board? Over here. It was a uh, refuel your body day. I had two slices of my high protein uh, toast. I took two tablespoons of PB uh, peanut butter powder that I reconstituted. I had two teaspoons of butter on the bread and it was absolutely delicious. I had a Caesar salad with uh, two tablespoons of the Caesar dressing, two slices of bread. I had a three ounce beef patty and I made like a little slider with um, unsweetened or no sugar added bread and butter pickles. It was absolutely delicious. Delicious, man, it was delicious. Last night, we ended up going out for dinner and we shared a ribeye, uh, a 12 ounce ribeye, six ounces each. I had three ounces of shrimp. Um, I had collagen with MCT oil in my coffee in the morning. My total carbs were 22 grams. My total fat was 71 grams. Protein was 113 grams and I had 1,269 delicious calories yesterday. Harry had two slices of toast as well with two tablespoons of PB peanut butter powder that was reconstituted, two teaspoons of butter. Wasn't that good? Isn't this stuff good? Oh yeah, it's really it's good. It's really good. He had eight ounce a ground beef bowl for lunch. For dinner, we split again. We went to BBQ's and had a ribeye. He had three ounces of shrimp. He ate the broccoli. I took some, but I really didn't eat very many. I think I had one bite. Uh, he had a uh, wedge salad that looked absolutely scrum dillyumptious. He had three tablespoons key to creamer, 29 grams of carbs, 89, 87 grams of fat, 165 grams of protein. He had 1,569 calories yesterday, you guys. So that is really good. We had a great day. We had great food, super stuff, super filling. It was absolutely delicious, you guys. And um, let me show you what we weighed. Now, I went up eight tenths of a pound, but I'm still, Harry, you've got to put my new out time low. I forgot to do that. Yeah. Because I'm down to one, 170, 171.6 is my new all time low, you guys. So don't look at that. Harry went up four tenths of a pound, but you guys, we had 
really good food. We, and that steak was salty that we had, so you know they used regular salt. But it was just a very nice... Well, I was surprised I only went for tits because I had that... I had that uh, wedge wedge salad. salad. Yes, you did. But you had the small, smaller one. It yeah. looked huge. But I had gone from work, went and got my hair cut, colored, and the whole thing. And uh, by the time I'm done, it's after 7. So I called Harry and said, hey, would you like to go out to dinner? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, Sally just got back from the groomers, and she was all a little bit pouty because she doesn't care to go to get her bath. But she's a good girl, but she, she just doesn't really care for the blow-drying part of it. So we all got in the car, and we went to Bobby Q's and had a delicious ribeye and shrimp dinner. And it was absolutely delicious, you guys. Huh. Last night when we got home, we had a whole bunch of um, Amazon packages waiting for us. And I want to share those with everybody to show you guys what I got. I also got an order from here. Come over here, Harry. Got an order from Keto Chow. I got the uh, 250 milliliter 8.3 fluid ounce electrolyte drops box because I like using the little containers. I can stick these in my purse, stick them in my pocket, take it with me, and it works beautifully, and I can re, re, um, fill, it up. fill it up. So I got also these uh, magnesium drops because I'm putting them in the morning and I'm putting them at night, and it's really working well. This one, again, is an 8.3 fluid ounce or 250 milliliter container. I have the little container here, and it's, look at that, it's like you can't even see. I got like maybe three drops left. Now, another one that I did not get is the Fasting Drops, right? It's a sodium and magnesium supplement. This is a, a bottle that I have. I didn't get the large refill bottle, but there's plenty in there for our trip to Disneyland. And then, of course, I'm taking the Real Light Mixed Berry in the um, packets. And I'm taking enough for the whole family, you guys. We're renting a locker, and when we get water, I'm just handing them out. Handing them out. We'll have delicious mixed berry punch that's electrolytes for everybody. So that's exciting for that. Now, several of you told me about this hand cream, this arthritis cream, and said it worked really, really good for you. So we got this. I, I paid extra to have them. I paid $2.99, and it was delivered yesterday. I ordered it yesterday morning at yeah. work. So I put some on last night, and you guys, this stuff's pretty good. It's pretty good. It works pretty good. And I'm, it's, I have a tendonitis and a little bit of arthritis in my hands. So I rubbed it on my hands. And it tells you which part of the extremities it's good for. Here is the picture bigger here. There you go. The treatment areas. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a medical practitioner. This is an over the counter medication that I am using topically for my areas of inflammation that I'm currently having to see if it helps me. You know, it, talk to your doctor about this. If you have any counterindications, if you have inflammation, this might be something that's good for you. But again, speak with your doctor or your medical advisor for this if you guys want to use it. I just wanted to share that I did get it and it worked really good. So that's exciting. Now, got some other things. I am on a mission to make a sourdough bread with the high protein um, egg white powder, egg, raw egg whites. Uh, so I've got something in mind for the sourdough starter. It finally came. It's expensive. This was expensive, which is crazy, but I guess it just takes a little bit, but I got that, and I also have something else I want to do. I bought the whole dried eggs, and the ingredients is 100% whole eggs dried powder, and I got the large one because it was temporarily out of stock, and I said, order it. You can order it, and then they ship it to you. It came at the same time, even though it said it was out of stock. I ordered the little one because I wanted to get this recipe that I have in mind done before we leave for Disneyland. But this one again is ingredients 100% whole dried egg powder. I hope I got the right, I hope I got the right one for what I want to do. So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share this with everybody. We're just going to have a normal eating day today. We're um, busy pre-packing, getting stuff down, getting things ready, getting the car ready, 
take it to the car wash, get it gassed up, all the good stuff that we need to do in order to get ready for our road trip. So we'll see everybody in the next segment. Okay, everybody, I was looking at recipes for pumpkin cheesecake, yes, indeed. And Keto Chow just happened to have one that looks super easy, super simple, super delicious. She's down below you there. Yeah, I know she is. Feet. I can tell. It is the pumpkin spice cheesecake. You guys can pull the recipe straight from the recipes on Keto Chow website, which is www.ketochowxyz. Okay. And um, Keto Chow wants everybody to go get these recipes. They want us to share and like them because you guys, I think they're delicious and they're wonderful. Now, this is made by Chef Taffney Elrod. She made it and it's super duper easy, you guys. So let's get started. One thing I don't have is you're supposed to have three mini pies, four inches across. I don't have those. So I'm using my... Um, Remikins. Remikins for that. Sorry, I just got my finger all gooey. Remikins for that. So let's get started with this, shall we? You are going to need a scoop or a packet of pumpkin spice caramel. You're going to need one four ounce, right here, babe. Yeah. of cream cheese so that's half of a philadelphia now i did not have full fat i had one one third less fat but you can use full fat the recipe calls for full fat i just happen to have this four ounces sour cream is one cup sour cream and you guys i get organic pumpkin puree you want to make sure on the back the only ingredient in it is pumpkin there's no sugar or additives you want one quarter cup of pumpkin puree. You want to have one teaspoon pure vanilla extract and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. That's your ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's put everything in the bowl here. So what I'm going to do is I need to get my spatula because I washed it. Okay, get the spatula. Let's get going. Here's four ounces of cream cheese softened you want it to be softened you want one cup sour cream this is organic sour cream I love it you want to get one quarter cup pumpkin puree And then I want one teaspoon vanilla. One teaspoon vanilla. Half teaspoon cinnamon. Cinnamon, half teaspoon cinnamon. And one scoop pumpkin spice caramel keto chow. Get it packed in and make sure I got a good, nice, good scoop. Just need a little bit more because it had a little gap in the bottom. And blend it all together but first I think I want to uh, kind of hand mix it and then we're going to use the um, stick blender just to blend it up the rest of the way you guys oh man this smells good it smells like pumpkin yes indeed I'm excited for this this is pretty easy pretty simple you guys Marty can you come see this while I'm doing this mm -hmm. I don't think I'm, I don't know. Maybe I will need the blender. It's so nice and soft. You want your cream cheese to be nice and soft. I 
I don't know how many Remkins I'm going to need. How much do you put into it? I don't know. So I'm going to read the directions in just a minute. Can you um, blend this for me with the stick blender? Mm -hmm. And then we'll be right back, you guys. Okay, I measured these, and these are four inches. Look, across. They're four inch. She doesn't say across or deep, so I'm using four inch mini pie pans, she says. So that's what I'm using. You guys, this stuff. Oh tastes God, it tastes so good. Delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Talking delicious. about licking the uh, spoon. Spoon, oh my gosh. Harry and I were arm wrestling. Devouring this stuff, man. I think I'm gonna make us I think I'm gonna make two batches of this stuff. Man. This tastes as good as it does raw, cooked. Oh man. That, that's what I'm doing for Thanksgiving right here. That's Thanksgiving dessert all day long. Does Isn't, this stuff expand like like the I don't does, know. Or? There's no dough in it, but it's got keto chow, which has whey and everything in it, so it would be more dense like cheesecakes. So I'm thinking this is so easy and so delicious. Then everybody can have their own little uh, dish, you know? Mm-hmm. 20 minutes at a preheated 325 oven. So I'm putting this in. Cooking it for 20 minutes, does it say? 20. 20 minutes, everybody. Come back in 20 minutes. Yes, indeed. Okay, Harry, I want you to take out the dark blue ones, which are on your left, because, you guys, this tasted so delicious raw. It's still jiggly. It's, it's supposed to be there. jiggly. Okay. It, and then turn the other one um, so that it's across the middle for me. Thank she, you, dear. She made two batches because she liked it so much. Oh my God, didn't you? Oh Here, yeah, hold this. I'll take it. I gotta move this I over. I gotta change the battery. Just move this over, you guys. This raw batter, just raw, would have made the best refrigerated deliciousness oh, you've yes. ever had. Oh my we gosh. were arm wrestling over that hairy one because of my arm, but you guys, yeah, right. I promptly used <laughs> the rest of that sour cream to make another batch, the other half of that block, and I still have some pumpkin left over, but this is amazingly delicious. If you like cheesecake, you like pumpkin pie, you like sweet pumpkin caramel spice, this is the dessert for you yes indeedy i can't wait till it gets cool enough that i can stick my fork in there and take a taste test i'm so excited it is absolutely delicious raw i can't wait and you the house smells like oh man thanksgiving christmas oh, yeah. pumpkin spice and everything nice thank you keto chow anyway you guys we're gonna come back with this and I'm sure if you don't have keto chow, you probably could make this. Um, I'm not sure what you would replace the um, keto chow with, but it is so good. That might be something you might want to buy. A couple bags, just the little packets. You know, they're for 27, I think, with our 10% discount. We have a keto chow link uh, down in the description below. Gives you 10% off of everything that's regular price, including the magnesium drops the electrolyte drops, and so much more. But you guys, go peruse the recipes because it's not about sweet. They have savory too. They have everything. You'd be amazed at the recipes they have. But this one, oh, yeah. I'm making one for each of us for dessert. Oh yeah. Yes, I am because it's, it's so easy. I get three. It's so easy. You know, we probably should go to the store and get some when we go get some cream cheese because of the way the shelves have been mm -hmm. there. Cream cheese will last and I'll have it for Thanksgiving. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back when we do a taste test. I'm so excited. It's delicious. Yes, indeed. You guys, we're ready for a taste test. Now it's a little bit warm on the bottom still, but I can't wait any longer. It smells 
like pumpkin caramel spice. It smells so good. Okay, you guys, let's take a seat. Ooh. And if you had some whipped cream, put a little whipped cream, a little sprinkle of cinnamon or pumpkin spice. Oh, man. God, it smells so good. Oh, my gosh. That is the best bar none pumpkin cheesecake I have ever had in my life. And I am not even kidding you. I am not kidding. Harry, you have got to try this. Yeah, I'm waiting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You need to smell it before you wolf it down. What's it smell oh like? Oh my God, that smells so good. Doesn't it have a caramel smell? Yeah. Pumpkin spice and everything mm. nice. Let me see. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Mmm. Oh wow, that's got, I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> it's creamy. And how's the taste, Harry? Oh, it's fabulous. It's like pumpkin, caramel. Mm. Now, have you ever had better, even at the Cheesecake Factory? Oh no. no this no. has this a, such good. a great taste. Who did this? She, she did a Keto great Chow. job. That's Tiffany, their, um, their chef. Wow, she did a fabulous job on this. Hey, stop. What? Quit eating my cheesecake. Come over here and get the camera, buddy. I guess we're having I cheese. I don't get one. Yes, you do. Here. Okay, so since you ate half of it, I gotta have one more taste. Just one more taste. Now I know this will set up better once it's been refrigerated, but by itself, it's heaven. Mm. That is creamy. That has everything in it. That has cream cheese, the pumpkin, the caramel, the spice, the richness, the smoothness, the hint of vanilla. Well, that's mm, what the back-end taste of cinnamon. It is everything in this little dish. I'm a that bad. is rich and delicious all day long. I'm a bad taster. Oh, I just man. don't know how to explain things. Oh, well, I do. That is so good. Oh, it is. Mm -mm -mm. I say, if you want to try Keto Chow for the first time, you're on a limited budget, but you want to treat yourself, please go get a single, go get a couple single packets of the pumpkin caramel spice Keto Chow and treat yourself to this, you guys. No one will have this as a dessert and say that it's a diet food. Ever, oh, ever, no ever, way. ever, ever no. will that come out of their tongue. It's too much like one bite makes you go, oh, I'm blowing it. Yes. So you guys, it's don't forget, so go to the Keto Chow website. We'll put the link below where the recipe is. Go there, check out their recipes, you guys, and use the 10% discount to um, order some Keto Chow today. But you guys, we get pumpkin spice and everything nice. We get to, cake. We get to eat our cake and eat it too, pumpkin spice style. Anyway, you guys, man, we're having this for dinner. Oh, okay. It's keto you chow. Have. You can have it for dinner. You can have it for lunch. You can have it for breakfast. You can have it for snack. You can have it for dessert. And why is that, Wendy? Because it is healthy and nutritious and it's keto. And it's a meal. And it's a meal. It's a meal replacement. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. That is delicious, you guys. I am not even kidding you. I want you to tell me when you make this, leave me a comment below that you're going to go make it and then let us know how you liked it. Because I'm telling you, if you are a pumpkin spice and everything nice person, this pie is for you. Anyway, you guys, we're going to go ahead and close out the vlog tonight. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the little bell. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Man, Harry, too bad you're the cameraman. I'm telling you. I know, you. right? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Mm. Huh? You think it's fair?
Unless she says I'd like something. Okay, I'll take my face away from the keto child. Pumpkin spice cheesecake for, for one minute. Yeah, carnivore dog treat. Mm -hmm. Can you say good night? Say good night. Good night. Say good night. <laughs> say good night. <laughs> you got food. Oh, there, there it is. is. You did it. Good night.